Hi and welcome to McGun Media. In this video we're going to be showing you how we make these backdrops for backgrounds to use in tabletop photography. In order to make your backgrounds you're going to need the following pieces of equipment. Firstly some cardstock. We've used here three mil card, but really you can use anything that is suitable or rigid enough to hold shape when you're painting on. Secondly, you'll need some glue. I've used Mod Podge, but you can also use glue gun glue or anything strong enough to glue your tin foil to the background. Tin foil, just ordinary aluminium foil from the kitchen will do nicely for this. Then you'll need some gesso primer or primer, something that will go on top of your tin foil and allow a base to paint on top of. And lastly, you'll need acrylic paints. Now, in a selection of colours, I would suggest doing a selection of three colours from dark to light within a similar colour palette. So let's get making. So we take our cardstock and we'll then rip off lengths of aluminium foil to match the length of your cardstock. I then crunch up the aluminium foil and then flatten it out and smooth it out. So if you start from the middle of the tin foil and scrunch, be careful not to really scrunch it up tightly because you won't be able to then unfurl it. And then do the same all the way to the edge and then smooth it out. Once I've scrunched all the tin foil up, I then spread out my Mod Podge as I'm doing here and I'm using an old discount card, you can use an old credit card. And the Mod Podge then glues the aluminium foil to the cardboard. Now you can use hot glue or any adhesive that will work for you in this case. What this is doing is providing us the base and the texture of our backdrop. So just glue it all down, making sure that all of the edges of the cardboard are covered in glue so that the edges don't unfurl on you afterwards. And to ensure that once the tin foil is stuck down, I then tuck in the edges to wrap the cardboard in the aluminium foil so that everything holds in place. The next thing I do is then paint over the tin foil with gesso and this provides a base for us then to paint over once dry so then we can use our acrylics and I start off with the darkest colour out of our set of three colours. I had to change colour here so that you could see the colour clearer. Once you've painted your dark layer, then add in lighter layers on top. Start from the middle so that you create your own vignette and work along the edges. And here I've worked it as if it were a flow of water running out along the outside. And then once I start working with that colour, once it's dry, I start using the lighter colour as a final colour on top of that. So always start with your dark colour and then work into your lighter colours. Once that is dry, this is what it'll look like. We hope that you found this to be useful and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so that you can receive these videos as soon as they come in. Also, if you've made these backgrounds and use them in your work, please take a photo of them and tag us and put it on Instagram or Twitter with at Gun Media. We'd love to see your work.